Hey tubers, I'm inside of a 14 Infinity QX60 with a 2.5 hybrid um, engine and the code is famous PA, P0A0A, DC to DC converter, okay? I'm gonna try to show you real quick my um, analysis of a issue. Now, besides, the engine is running right now, okay? And um, the battery light is on. There's no other lights, just the battery light, okay? No check engine. Um, the problem that I see and that I um, can explain is that DC to, first of all, um, high, high, volt, high voltage battery level is at 53%. At state of charge, not bad. Okay, and um, here's what I wanna show you real quick. Real quick, I wanna show you the voltages that tell me a lot about the system. Now, the voltages that I wanna show you are this. Okay, first of all, we're looking at 12 volt, um, 12 volt um, uh, uh, voltage and current at the same time, four, four amps and, uh, and uh, 13.9 volts, 13.9 volts. And at the same time, the high voltage battery is at 147 volts and the current is going back and forth meaning positive it's being fed into the battery negative it's being taken from the battery from the high voltage battery okay um, even if i rev it up it doesn't seem to be feeding the battery although if i put it in drive and give it a little power i can get the battery to start well, it's discharging now, but it 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 should be charging. It should be charging, but it's not. It shows charge right now, but it should have been charging when I put my uh, foot on the gas pedal. All right, I think that may be the the issue. The DC to DC converter is the one that takes the voltage from um, from the 140 volts down to 14 volts for the small voltage battery. That's what DC to DC does. First, we have AC to DC converter. That's from electrical motor, three-phase motor into alternating power into um, direct power. That's AC to DC. That direct power is at high voltage, DC 150 volts, and I think that's where it gets converted into down to 14 point uh, something or 13 point something. And um, this is the, how it works in uh, you know in lame in layman's term, terms. Um, that's about it. Um, I'm going to try to clear the code and see if the battery light will go off. And that's my uh, last idea there. Just want to see if that's what's causing the battery. Okay, I'm off. Ignition on. Clear codes. Codes, no codes. Let's start the engine again. Yes, the light is off. Okay, so yes, the, the light, the battery light is caused by the code, and the code is not there anymore. All right, and it's working fine so far. Okay, um, should I go back to the data and look what's going on now? But well, I I'd like to. Okay, uh, battery 50%. Now let's put it in drive, see how it converts the voltage now. Opa. We don't want to go anywhere, nope. Yeah. No. 
Okay, that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at going in the middle somewhere. That's me going with the pedal up and down because it, it wants to shut off. I went through too far. Somewhere here. Somewhere here, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, same problem. Same problem. The highlighted. Uh, highlighted. Oh, I lost it. I lost the big sign. Big time stop right there. Okay. This is the same uh, pattern that we were looking at. I would expect to be. I would expect it to be positive right now, charging, but it's not. It's taking a lot from the high volt, high volt battery and. Um, 12 volts, 13.82. Okay, the only thing that uh, that I see right now is that the performance of a DC to AC to DC converter is suffering, just based on what I'm seeing as far as the current going into the high voltage battery. So. We're gonna we're gonna change the DC to DC converter. I think that's what that's what it calls for, and I'm gonna report the results. Okay. Thank you. It was a long one. I know. Thank you.